everybody, this is Carrick with Crazy Gaming, and we are back playing some more Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we got to Blackwater City, and we started exploring what all this city has to offer. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to at least take down the tank. Uh, but, yep. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be continuing through Blackwater City and seeing what else this city has to offer to us. Um, uh, so let's move forward. This elevator. And if we take a look at our map, about here. So let's see, what do you have to Welcome say? Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quirk's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator. Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait, do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it, so we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. Okay, so, uh, we're not gonna enter the race quite yet. We're gonna see what all's around here, and then we'll enter the race. Uh, yeah. Uh... So, let's see here. Do we have any uh, red boxes? Nope. Uh, let's see. Can the mine glove do anything? open, break more of these open, I guess they also explode from movement as well, um, as you can see I am not, I haven't grinded yet to get the uh, rhino as I said last time, um, but I will do that here after completing the race, so without further ado, even though we have a few bolts laying around. Let's get right into the race, and they just pop us right in here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we can break open these, jump, access to jump normally. Uh, I can't really find anything else. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh, Exits to jump. That's all I can tell you right now. We are in fifth place. Speed up. We gotta hurry and catch up with these guys. Lap two of three. That guy went ahead and got rid of those uh, explodable boxes for us. Uh, your main objective in this is to try and hit all of the. Uh, Oh, shoot. Uh, is to try and hit all of the speed rings, because that's basically going to be your way of feeding all this. So, uh, let's go ahead and let's take that advice to heart, shall we? Speed, uh, speed ring. Fly past that fourth place guy. I always feel kind of sorry for that one guy who's ahead of you that you just pass at the beginning of every race. Like in Mario Kart, like the seventh place guy, uh, you just go ahead and pass immediately. Yeah, you hit any surface, man, you're pretty much done. Uh, they are really unforgiving when it comes to, uh, yeah, what can knock you out and start you over. Uh, so, uh... Not much to say while I'm going through this. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut to whenever I win this. Because uh, you only have to win this once in order to complete everything. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, you can go on it multiple times, but I really hate this, so I won't be doing it multiple times, but I'll see you guys whenever I beat this. Alrighty, here we go. I think I've got it. I've got it, and I won. Hi, folks. Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's HoverCon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers. Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look, that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator. Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon, starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a quartastic day. Alrighty, so we won. We got the Platinum Zoom Warrior. So we are good, and we still got our bulbs here. Uh, so let's see here. Where can we go from here? Well, nowhere else to go. Let's get on the taxi. So now that we've beaten that, I think we should start going on the other path, which we actually just saw on the way in, is the with the yellow uh, yellow swing shot poles. So let's grab a swing shot and let's go. This is where the Hydra Displacer comes into play. Alright, so we displace the water here. So we can get our bolts, and have some fun. And then we jump up here. Jump to the other side, and we dump the water in here. So that way we can swim over and we can get into it. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, that blue tin. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna head in here. These are easily breakable, so don't worry about it. And let's suck out the water again. Okay. And we go in through this tube. More breakable. to fill this back up again. Now, you might be asking, why couldn't you just leave the water level as it was? Well, when you're in the water, you can't break stuff. So, we couldn't be able to break those bars that were holding holding us back from getting through there. And my god, that blue tin is hurting my eyes. Uh, yep, so let's, uh, Jump up here, just take a look at the map real quick, alright. I just want to make sure I'm on track. Uh, but yeah, so, let me t uh, tell you something about that other board race, alright? I do not like it. But one of the reasons is because it is very unforgiving. The one before that that I played, it, I was about to win, right? I was in first place like the entire, the entire time I went through it. Oh yeah, and the water level's rising. Uh, but yeah, I was in first place the entire time I was going through that. Hit one bomb, just one, out of the whole game where I, I'd been in number one. And that took, uh, that was enough to kill me. 
irritated the crap out of me. So, yeah. That's one of the reasons I hate this, because it's so unforgiving. And we ran out of oxygen. Awesome. Let's try it again. I'll meet you guys back where we were. impossible but we made it through now there is an item in the game that makes it a lot easier i'm not sure if we get it after this or if it was before this or after this or whatever but uh yeah uh yeah. alrighty and that covered most of our map <laughs> and uh this is the way we go to get back to the other area so uh yeah, you guys can just go ahead and die. So... Destroy this, and... Hey, hey, hey! Press conference is over! Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer! Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick, now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark won't understand once we- Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the Captain in his underpants, underpants? then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, I'm stuck here making six volts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate Quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. Bribing the bouncer. Ain't that how it always works? You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Exactly. Captain Quark. What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean... I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question. But Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contractions? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quarkly quit? Oh, just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself, learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. The pop and circumstance. Meet me at uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. There we go. All right, so now we got Captain Corpse help. So, yeah, uh, with everything completed here in Blackwater, except for the Brino, um, I think. We will end it off here. So, next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we will first be going back to see Skid's agent in order to give him our winnings. 
and then we will be heading off to Quark's secret base so we can do some training and become real heroes. Alright, so if you like this, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, you guys haven't